Hello my dear kids. In the last session we have learned the basics of division. Today we are going to learn the relation between division and multiplication. So let's get started. In the previous example we have divided six balls to two kids and each kid got three balls. So we can say six divided by two equal to three. How we got this? We subtracted two three times till we reaches zero. So we can say six divided by two equal to three. So we divided the total number of balls by two to get the number of balls each person gets. Or in another way we can say we will add two three times to get six. Two is added three times to get six. So I can say two into three equal to six. So in multiplication equal groups are added to get the total number. Two is added three times to get six. But in division six the total number is divided to get the number each person gets. Six we divided by two to reach three. This is called a division fact and this is called a multiplication fact. 2 into 3 equal to 6. So here I can say 6 divided by 2 equal to 3 or 6 divided by 3 equal to 2. So the division facts of this multiplication fact are 2 and 3. Let's learn the terms of division. 6 divided by 2 equal to 3. In this division statement, 6 is called a dividend, the number to be divided. This is a sign of division. 2 is called a divisor, the number by which to be divided. Answer 3 is called a quotient. When the given number cannot be divided equally, something is left over. That is called a Reminder. Today we have learned about the relation between division and multiplication. Also we have seen the terms of division. In the next session we will learn the properties of division. Music